Howdy, y'all. Joe Hills here, recording as I was due in Nashville, Tennessee. And today on the Work and Draft server, we're going to continue to do research on everything we can possibly find. Hey, I already found something. And it's got the ghost thing in it. And it's an unknown theory. Okay, so what else, uh, what else do we have? Lots of metal? You like metal? No, you don't like metal. Fractus and cobble? Nope, you don't like those. Is that an angry one? No. Okay, good. Let's try Modus. They uh, seem to like that a lot. Oh, hey, definitely likes that. So we are just going to make us some more boats. We're going to Modus boat our way to adventure on the Work and Draft server. Now, uh, everything in here has different traits or essentia, and they are essentially the traits that we use to conduct our research. So there's Modus. Golemancy. Hey, that sounds helpful. That's probably a good way to, you know, achieve your goals. Like that guy from the soccer games. He's like, goal Lamancy. Okay, I almost didn't get the Lamancy out. I was <laughs> Okay, I'm probably not gonna do that all the time. You're welcome, fans. You're welcome. Wonder what's in there. Oh, just magic. Bricantio. Lame. Oh, you know what? Golemancy. I wonder if that means, like, the, the classical sense of the golem. Not like the Pokemon sense of the golem. But, like, let's uh, try making us... Is that one going to hit us? No. Let's try making us some levers, because this Imperio... Oh, that one's going to shoot us. Is that one tracking us there? This is not a safe place to be. Not a safe place to be at all. Oh, and that's an especially less safe place to be. Whoa, okay, there's a skeleton there. So we're just going to set him aflame until he's dead. Whoa, those guys are also unfriendly. Okay, so let's grab these arrows, because those can be useful. Let's hop back up here, continue raining fire down on these guys. Anyway, I was going to say, if the golem is the classical kind of golem, like, then it might be uh, something that I could control. So levers would be an appropriate thing to throw in here. Luckily, I got like 2,000 of them. Yes. Okay, great. Do I have any more cobble? I was actually joking. I only had like six levers. So this is a job for the Wand of digging. Best thing to do when you don't have any cobble, just to stand here and make more. This Wand of Diggin' is, like, super awesome. This, I know it's not actually called the Wand of Diggin', it's the Wand of Excavation, but it's kind of the Wand of Awesomeness happening right now, all up in your face. And, of course, I did not have any extra slots in my inventory for receiving said awesomeness. So we're just going to throw some of this back in here and jump back down into the darkness like the bold adventurers we are. Okay, that's 23. That should be enough to make the levers we need. So I've got to say, once I figured out that I can change the mode on the fly for the uh, jetpack. Okay, that one's non-hostile. It really changed how effectively I used it. Gah! Okay, so note to self, don't stand there. That could have been a lot worse. Oh, uh, Victus, Apple. I can find that in copper. And luckily I've got like a million copper. I mean, those things are just spawning like crazy. And Golemancy. So why don't we go somewhere a little bit less full of flying things that want to light me up. Oh, and we'll instead go where the spider things... Can they climb? Oh, good. Now that portal will have a spider on the other side of it. What a fortunate occurrence. Well, Golemancy. So I need to use the infusion altar, and I need four bricks of clay and some nitor. You have discovered the secret of creating golem workers. While the iron golem is impressive in its own way, it is very limited and uncontrolled. 
controllable. You have bridged both those gaps. Your golem workers have just enough will and self-awareness to make them useful tools, but not enough to make them uncontrollable. Golems can be retrieved by using a casting wand on them. By crafting a golem animation core and combining it with raw materials that form the bulk of the golem's body, you can create several small servants that do your bidding. Wood golems can only be crafted from great wood. They are only your first step in golemancy, and their uses are fairly limited. So I'm guessing these are the great wood logs, okay? When placed on a chest or similar container, the wood golem will keep a close watch on its surroundings. If it spots a loose item on the ground, it will rush toward it and pick it up and return it to the container it was assigned to. Oh, hey, that's helpful. For containers that can accept di items on different sides, like a furnace, the golem will place the items it picks up into the side it was placed on. So placing the wood golem on top of a furnace will cause it to place items it picks up into the furnace's top slot. Well, that, that seems useful. So, wood golem worker, so there's fast, smart, perceptive, strong. It depends on the core I put in. And I only have the basic core to start, it looks like. But I'm guessing that I could get these other cores through research. Oh, hey, that's what these are. And this looks important. So, I'm, I'm wondering if I can... Well. Well, well, well. Let's... Let's call this an episode because I kind of want to see... Well, let's not call this an episode. Let's see if I can get to that shiny thing at the bottom there. That shiny thing at the bottom there looks more exciting to me than the golems. And this is probably just going to make some sort of golem. Dang it. I was really excited for a second. No, maybe not. Okay. So something in there, a bestia, okay. Luckily for me, I can grab me a ton of extra sheep. Or a ton of wool. Oh, I've got some here, though. Unknown theory still. Dang, so this one apparently has a ton of elements in it. Let's put some paper over here. Is there some Kogito in it? No. Messis, though. Oh, there is Kogito in this. The theory of everything. What am I missing? 100%, 100%, 100%, 100. What what am I missing? Oh, maybe I'm missing like several elements still. Yes, 35% complete. I was like, "Oh, that was easy." It was not easy. Oh, wait, no. Okay, I maxed out iron. So, let me try throwing some wood in here. Okay, maxed out wood. Already got meat. Already got paper. So there are a lot of elements in this. We're just going to keep pushing this along till we get that out of the way. 45%. That's unfortunately low. Stone is not apparently something in the everything category. Neither is Solum. So let's uh, dump a bunch of this stuff back in here. Actually, let me see if this apple thing from the copper is helpful. Oh, good, it is. Oh. Wow, guys. Just wow. Look at this. Having studied the classic elements, you'd think it's time to broaden your study to the physical world. Hopefully, by studying the concrete, you will gain an insight into the ethereal. This is like everything in here. Okay, wait. Did that finish out? Okay, yeah, the gear's finished. Soul sands. Wow, there's so much stuff in this. Okay, I'm glad that's not an angry one. Glad that's not an angry one. I'm kind of, like, really engrossed in this, and I don't want to stop doing it. Nope, nothing out of that. Okay. So, what about coal? Do I have any coal? Charcoal. Oh, fire's probably going to be in here, right? That would make sense. We've got more nether brick here, and we've got gravel. Gravel's done. Nether brick is done. What am I missing? Probably a bunch of the cooler ones. Like, have I already done this pumpkin? Yeah, I've done the pumpkin thing. Uh, oh, I'd be willing to bet I'm going to need some purists in here. Maybe not. I didn't realize there were this many elements left. 
okay? That's a lot of elements. Uh, let's get some nether wart. Okay, yeah, maybe the mushroom element I haven't done. We're up to 61%. Once I hit 75, these will all be revealed. Uh, raw beef. Well, wait, we've already hit... All three of those are maxed out. Let's try making some more sh uh, pants and see if we get anything out of that more. Oh, I should bring back some glass and some t uh, to something with crystal in it. Okay, good. Tutamin is in here. 65%. So yeah, I'll bring back some glass and try that. Sand doesn't have the glass element in it. Okay, 66%. You can just throw this sand in here, and it'll cook and become glass, which will get eaten by my hunger chest. Rawr, 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 nom, nom, nom. Okay, cool. So, crystal. Uh, it wasn't enough. Vacuous might be one to check, so maybe I'll make some, um, make some chests real quick. I'm really curious what this is going to unlock. I'm hoping it unlocks a new wand, because that would be awesome. No, not vacuous. Oh, so close to completing this. Theory of everything. Think it's time to broaden your study to the physical world. So, like, that would be everything around the physical world. Like, grass and seeds. Seeds, silver, permutado. That's a, that's a classic one, maybe. No. Wheat, I've all, no, I've already maxed that one out. Have I maxed out the gears? Yeah, so close. I'm... Hmm. I haven't maxed out the, these leaves. Okay, the leaves are on there. And they can be found in some of the plants. Not all. Oh, flowers are probably on here, too. Yeah, there we go. So there's flowers. I can easily go get more of those. Um, let's grab our shears, too. So that way we can just grab a whole bunch of leaves in one go. Boom. Leaves equipped. Or shears equipped. Oh, yeah. And I'm... What does wool have in it? No, I've already got that maxed out. Too bad for you, wool. You're not as necessary as you'd like to be. Bum, bum, bum. Flying to the great wood tree, the tree that has the mysteries. Mysteries that are secret to me about what's in this tree. I think, is this... Oh, these are actually different types of leaves than normal leaves. I figured that great wood leaves would just be the same as, like, oak leaves, because that's what they look like, but I guess you could skin them differently if they're a different block. So that would make sense for the creator of the mod to, uh, you know, make a different block for them. Great. So we got great wood leaves here, and, wow, it's really hard with these boots to get down there. And we're just going to grab a b bunch more flowers, because you can never have enough flowers when you're doing something like this. Got to research it all. And feathers, you can never get enough feathers. In a process like this as well. Don't need the grass. It's worthless in this mod. Okay, so swapping out our Lincoln books here real quick. Boom. Right back here. Let's just keep throwing stuff in while it's still dangerous to. Okay, that didn't really light anything up. Okay, so there's the rest of them. We have hit 75%. I'm going to need Oral, which is so or Sonus, which is Oral. Whoa! That was almost a kill. Luckily, I have some records back at my house. It's going to need the poison element, which I have some poison back at my house, too, and some poison potatoes. And I think you can also get that in the um, bits of... Oh, uh, what do you call it? The bits of spider eye, maybe, have that. Let's see, fungus. I'm going to need crystal... Yeah, here's some pains for my troubles. Here's poisonous potatoes. 
Okay, so let's go back with just this to start. And that guy's probably still just waiting for me. No, he seems to have despawned. I'm really not sure if they despawn differently than other mobs. They might. So, oh yeah, I forgot to bring my, um... Okay, so there's my glass panes. Flowers are maxed out. We still need Sonus Bestiola. Great, so we maxed out poison. I gotta make some swords real quick for the thorn one. Because, like, anything sharp will satisfy that one. And we're just going to leave a few of these on the ground and hope they don't end up somewhere I don't want them to be. Oh, wow, that was actually pretty effective. So, extra swords go in the box. We don't need them anymore. Spider eye. Here we go. Here's a spider eye. Not good enough. String is one way to make that spider element, I think. So let me grab my wool card, throw it in here with a bunch of wool. Boom, we got some string. Uh, so close. So close. Luckily, the sheep are just waiting for me. They are just ripe for the trimming, or shearing. They shear are ready for this. They want to participate in this scientific experiment that will bring light to the world, or at least a wand to me that will be awesome. So, here we go. We are just gonna throw... Oh, yeah. Gotta shear it for... Or, wool card it first. So, 20 string. That should be plenty. Great. So, all that's left is Sonus. I wonder if... I, wait, I wonder if I could make Sonus out of jukeboxes instead of burning my records. Why don't we check on that first? That might be a good thing to know. So, this is going to be enough for two jukeboxes, at least, to start. But that would be a lot, or note blocks. Yeah, they each have four saunas. So we'll try throwing these note blocks in here. And, of course, they deplete rapidly. We are so close. Well, do I have any more logs? You would think that. Okay, going home for more logs. Wrong wrong home. Going home for more logs. Got some logs down here that I was going to feed into this furnace thing, just in case. Don't need to feed it now. My crazy boiler machine or whatever. So, we are just going to make... We have enough to... Ooh, that might have been more than I needed, but whatever. We have enough to make six more of these... And I just need to properly do that. We don't need the chest right now. Extra wood can go away. So, note blocks. And we have the theory of everything, people. That's a pretty good theory to have. Ooh, look at that. That is an extensive list. Anybody who's making this at home, you might want to pause the video here and, and, you know, take a screenshot for your reference. That is a lot of elements. So we're just going to read that and see what the Thalmanomicon says. The theory of everything. Well, almost everything. Yeah, it doesn't seem to give me, like, a branch off of that. I was surprised. Your understanding of the material and mystical worlds have grown considerably, and you now have a much greater grasp of how magic interacts with solid matter. Not only is this knowledge enlightening, it has some practical applications. Once again, it has led you to an improvement of your cast and wand. You now know how to create a Wand of the Thaumaturge. It is similar to a Wand of the Adept, except it is able to store much more vis, and is therefore uh, thus allowing for larger and more complex feats of magic. So I need a Nether Star. I need to kill a Wither to make this. And then I need... Well, you know, I guess it's possible, because, I mean, Doc Redstone and Mango did it. 32 Procantio. Not too hard. Okay. Well, so I'm going to go ahead and end this video here, and then in my next episode of Thalmcraft, I guess I'm going to have to fight a wither. So I'm going to have to get together with Doc and uh, Opaque Mango and anybody else on the server who wants to participate in that. So that might not be the next video that is uploaded in this series, but that'll be like my progress in Thalmcraft. Anyway, until next time, y'all, this is Joe Hills from Nashville, Tennessee. Keep adventuring.